Hey, I'm Tony from Analog Motorcycles, and today we're going to do a little video on header rep. Um, Wirecare offers a couple different versions. Uh, they have a volcano wrap, they have insole therm, different sizes, uh, there's one inch, two inch, um, I think there's more. You can check out all that information on their website. But today we are going to use the insole therm header wrap, uh, one inch in black. There are a number of reason, a number of reasons to utilize header wrap um, in car situations, in motorcycle situations, anytime where an exhaust is near something that you don't want to melt or get hot, um, header wrap is great. And some people think it'll increase horsepower, others disagree with that. I'm not saying one way or the other. Today's instance is this is a mid pipe on my race bike. And I put my foot right around here and I keep rubbing it to the point where I'm melting my boot. So these melt marks are from this exhaust and I don't think putting a little bit of header up here is going to increase horsepower. It will, however, save me from buying another pair of boots. So we are going to put this header wrap around this section of pipe so that when my foot rests up against it, it doesn't melt the boot. Um, when using different sizes, going around a bend like this, the smaller width is helpful because it'll make the radius a lot easier. Um, two inch will cover more space or you know whatever the other sizes are that are bigger. I think one inch is the smallest that they offer. Um, but for this circumstance and for what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use the one inch in black and we're gonna put it in just this section up to this point that I marked. So the, the muffler slides on here, so we're just gonna go up to there because it's basically this area here that we're trying to save my boot. So a few tools that you're gonna need for this job is obviously we're gonna need our header wrap. Some safety wire is the way that I do it and I will show you how later. Wirecare offers the TechFlex safety wire. They have it in light, standard, and heavy. Um, for this application, we're going to use the lightweight stuff. It's just easier. Um, it bends easier. It's easier to work with. And for what we're holding on, the lightweight is fine. A uh, set of wire cutters, a pair of scissors. Uh, we might use a couple zip, zip ties if we need a helping hand. Um, otherwise, if you have a friend that can help you out, you might not need the zip ties. And then the clamp tight tool. Um, wear care offers the clamp tight tools. These are super handy and I'm going to show you how to use these as well. So this is going to be kind of a two part video. We're going to show you how to exhaust wrap or header wrap and how to use the clamp tight tool. Uh, full disclosure, you have to have patience with this. If you want it to look good and you want to do a good job, you have to have patience. Um, so if you don't have patience to do something like this, you may not want to try it. I've seen a lot of people rush through stuff like this and it ends up looking like they'd rush through it. So I'm gonna show you my way. We're just doing a small section here. It won't take super long, but it's gonna be able to give you kind of an idea of what it takes to actually wrap a header. And you know, obviously if you're doing a V8, you're gonna to have to do it for eight headers. Or if you're doing you know, a twin, you only have to do two headers. So depending on your job, you wanna make sure you allow, you know, allow enough time and make sure you get enough product. All right, first things first, um, I highly recommend gloves. This stuff is itchy. It's got fibers in it, so wear some gloves. And a vise is handy if you don't have somebody else to help you out, but even if you did, it's kind of nice to set it somewhere and, and hold it. So we're going to work from this point up to the other side. Um, you're gonna start off deciding, you know, how you want the direction of it to go. If you're just doing one thing, it doesn't really matter. But if you're doing like a set of headers that are all in a row, it's kind of nice to go the same direction on each of them. It just looks cleaner. Um, in this sort of circumstance, that's not really important, but just know if you're gonna do a few headers, that's something to think about. So another tool or helper that I didn't put in the beginning of this video is just like a little clamp. Um, that's going to help me in this circumstance. So 
Basically, you want to get it tight. So we're going to start by just getting that section right there, and then we're going to set this clamp on here to hold it. Um, in order to do this well, you want to get the safety wire into this area and get it on there tight so that you can pull tight when you're going and you start wrapping around. So the key for this one is to safety wire this area here with the clamp tight tool and the safety wire to be very snug. So I'm gonna do this one real quick and then I'll show you more at the end of the video when we get to the other end. So to keep it tight, we're gonna actually stick these wires. So I took a big long piece, put a bend in it at the halfway point, and we're gonna stick these wires through it and then use the clamp tight tool around the other side. That way when you start to wrap, it's actually gonna cover most of this safety wire so you don't even see it, which I think is clean. So I'm going to save you all that fiddling around and I'll show you how to use this tool at the end, um, a little more detail. So right now we have this all set up. We have the tool sitting here. It's starting to get snug. So we're going to make sure that we're aligned where we want to be aligned. Another thing to note is when you bend this over, there's going to be a, bul a bulge there where the tabs are. So you want to try to locate that, you know, in a place where you're not gonna, it's not gonna bother you or bother the eye. So for me, it's going to be on the inside. So this sits on the bike and I know that back there, nobody really sees it. So I'm gonna put that little bulge back there. All right, so this is now nice and snug. You bend it over and then you take the tool off. Now we're started. So this is on here really good, nice and snug. We don't have to worry about it. When we go to pull it, it's not gonna come loose on us. So the next step is going to be starting to wrap the header. So I like to try to keep even uh, overlaps going, but when you get into circumstances where you have like that or you have a step, it's just impossible. So. You just do the best that you can in trying to make it look as uniform as possible as you go. As you work, you wanna just keep making sure that you're tight, you're not loosening up anywhere. And just keep going. So now we're getting to a point where we're going from a big diameter to a small diameter. So I put one extra loop on the big, and then when we step down to the small, it's going to want to bunch up. So the same thing with where you put and hid your little lump for the safety wire, you want to try to hide any imperfections on that same side. So on this back side, not many people are going to see that. So what we could do is we can push and fold that lower level and then pull it tight over. And you could do the same thing back here on the inside of the corner. And then when you get down to that, you're not going to see it. So you, you can, I'll show you a closer video later, but you can see like you can't really see the bunch there because you're tucking underneath and then wrapping it on the next layer.
one way that I kind of guide how much my overlaps are is they're like just under a full half. Um, that way that the layer before sits there, then the next layer goes over it, and then there's a little step down. You're basically aligning the next layer or the next wrap to that step down. That way you're, you can kind of keep it as a guide as you go you know, around a long, a long run of header. It just kind of keeps you know, that, that same distance. You're not measuring it. And you can do it by eye as well, um, but that's kind of a good guide. We are to our end and I basically will take and wrap one more so that's not too bulky and then I will cut it where I need. So I'm gonna set this up so that I can re-set up the camera so I can get you in a close view here. Uh, basically what I will do at the very end is I will fold that inward on itself and then we're gonna safety wire like we did the start on the end over that fold. The reason that I do the fold is that it keeps it from fraying. So if that fold is tucked inside, you're not gonna have to worry about it fraying. Um, so, for now, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna stick a zip tie on it to hold it so we can remove or change the camera angle so you can see closer. All right, hopefully, you guys are gonna be able to follow along here. Um, again, we are on the inside where I kind of put the initial bulk of the safety wire there, and there's a couple folds in here that, so all the imperfections are gonna be on this side where it's not that visible. Um, so we're gonna take a piece of safety wire. You take it and you fold it in half. Um, you can put a pretty decent crease in there, enough to basically get this tool. So it has this little fork edge there. You wanna be able to get, the tool is gonna to sit in there just like that. So that's the purpose of the fold. So you wrap this around and I like to try to keep, you know, the same uniform width of the safety wire. And then you go through the loop. So that'll be the one side. This is going to be the other side. So you can take those guys and pull them snug. and then we're gonna put the tool on it. So, I know I say so a lot, but bear with me. So the tool essentially sits like that. Um, what I like to do is go under this one and wrap that around. Same with the other side give it like two wraps and then wrap it against each other. Okay, so the one wire comes up through the loop, over the pin, around twice. This one goes up over the pin and around twice and then tied together. Um, before you start tightening, what I like to do is kind of go around the whole thing If I can get this out of here and show you. And try to make those about the same width. 
because I think it looks clean. The thin safety wire is a little bit easier to kind of guide and bend around as needed, but basically about the same distance all the way around. So we have the tool set up, the loop is inside the wire there, or inside the tooth there, and then we just start to tighten. So, as you can see, as you tighten this, it's basically pulling those two wires that direction, and the tooth that is sitting in there is keeping that wire from going anywhere. So it, it makes a very, very strong connection. Uh, before we get too far, I'm gonna clip this safety wire and get it out, or a zip tie and get it out of our way. Just double check and make sure my distance looks good. And then just, just crank it up. For the exhaust wrap, it's not super critical to be like crazy tight. You just wanna get to a point where it doesn't feel like it wants to move much. Looks like that's pretty good. And then the objective here is you just bend it over and what it does is it takes and kind of locks this whole thing on itself. Give it one more turn and then fold it over. And you just clip those to get the tool out of your way. So you have these two wires here and what you do with them is up to you. Um, you can cut them real short and just kind of push them in. Uh, one thing that I like to do is take a, a safety wire tool like this and I'll actually put them together and this actually twists them. Um, but whatever you do, once it's bent with the clamp tight tool, once that bends over, that's not gonna go anywhere. So you can just push it down, trim these down real tight Take the end of your tool and just kind of push them in as tight as you can so you don't have to get anything snagged on it. But that's it. So this is basically safety wire or wrapped real good, it's real tight. Um, once it goes through a couple of heat cycles, it actually bakes on each other and bakes to the pipe a little bit and it ends up being like a very good snug fit. So that is basically how I header wrap in a nutshell. Um, so we taught you about the Insultherm header wrap at Wirecare. Um, we also covered the clamp tool, the safety wire um, from TechFlex, and that's all available at wirecare.com. Um, so now I can put this back on my race bike, just sitting right back there, and go racing, and I'd have to get new boots. Thanks for watching.